Hey, Toby. I don't know how he knew that Arrow was arriving. We've been waiting for Arrow for like three weeks. I feel like he's gonna be the messiah or something. You don't know, like bananas, bro? No, dude, I love bananas. Everybody loves bananas. Except the people that love it. But these people are weird. <laughs> I agree. You should not like bananas. Like, I don't, I don't <laughs> expect you to like good things, right? It's like, do you like donuts? No. Donuts taste awful. But Nishi, really good. Oh, A Pokeball with like mayonnaise and like weird tuna. Mm, oh, delicious. Okay. I need to be stronger in this team. Everybody's like, hey, Arrow. Terry's like, hi. I see this guy every day late. Hey. Get <laughs> the That's fucking chest, man. I got the chest, man. What do you mean? Put the ward. I put the ward. Fish yeah. 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 Is it good? Mm, yeah, it's good right I, now. Item changed? Yeah. Like the, okay. Yeah, just like this one. Arrow is very easy to work with, he's always nice, always smiling, he's very positive. I think he really missed being with the crew. We was really happy to see him back, I was really happy to see him back. I feel like people did, don't give uh, enough credit to Arrow, I think that Arrow is a kind of ADC that sacrifices a lot. Messiah? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's really big, big honor comparing Messiah, I mean some people if sensitive people, we don't like the comparing Marseille, but I really like it. I see the comeback of Arrow as a very positive thing. I think that the team will take time to click perfectly, but still, I think that the level of play we have is good. It's really good. And I, I certainly think that uh, Arrow is one of the most important assets uh, at Optic for many reasons. I'm actually joining the uh, RCS season, right? Because uh, when I was in Canada and I just playing Scream in Canada, I'm not in here, so I cannot live with them, I cannot talk with them. So it was kinda felt bad. It's very good to have him around, he's always nice, energized, Ugh, funny. It's good to have him around and when he wasn't here it was bad. Not bad, just sad I guess. Look at the other one! This is the Silas strength, man. Look at that ulti. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! 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 Oh
Object off to a pleasant start with an Academy heavy roster at two and two. And they're gonna prove to three here. You can also look at it like they have practiced with this team also, and they decided this team was better than their team that started two and two. We don't care about like the final outcome, which is winning or losing. Think about what's the next point, right? What can we do? What can they do? What can we do that's better than what they do? Okay, now we are a team. We are all 10 men. We're ready. Enjoy your game. Just go in game with pleasure, the same way you do yesterday. Just have a good time. Well, we'll see what the reaction is as Optic Gaming and Golden Guardians hit the rift here for our fifth game of the day. He's just hoping to get themselves a win. Optic showing their intended roster for the first time in the LCS 2019 season. And top laners fighting back and forth. Hans are still uh, actually just fine. He's completely equal, actually. He's slightly ahead in CS with four to gain, so that's going to feel good. Here's the dive in the mid lane. The ulti's stacked up, and there's the first blood. Crown sets up alongside Arrow. Uh, Lissandra looking forward, does not pull it in. Now on the bottom side, they found Dokla yet again. Half HP onto him. The burst coming across, and they again Knock down Dokla, the Urgot is dead, and, and he's not gonna burn that summoner spell. This Drake will be picked up, and now the fight on the left oh hand my. side, as Froggen finds a solo kill on the big, and walks right back into mid lane. Froggen just walks at big, finds the solo kill, gets the Dark Harvest stack, they get the Dragon. The fall optics will fight valiantly, but how could they possibly do it? They're outnumbered, they're outgunned. Golden Guardians get their first win. First off, selecting blue side, it's Team Liquid. Since they upgraded in positions like Core JJ and bringing Jensen in, this team has looked rather unstoppable. But since then, it's just been something where they are steamrolling the LCS and facing them on the red side. It's going to be Optic. Hold on, on bottom side, if Arrow gets in here. That's a great knockup. Core JJ's ultimate has already been expended, but Double Lift does a good job scaring Arrow back away. Core JJ still taking very low, and first blood goes over to Optic Gaming. Good play in the bottom side. Core JJ is going to be taken low. More damage coming out from both sides. Crown barely getting himself away as Double Lift will be taken down. An arrow through the heart. And that's the damage Optic needed. Barely stumbling away from this one. He's going to be kept in line for now, but the counter attack is there. Team Liquid's coming in. They're able to find the fear on the two, and the kills are coming out as well. That's the shutdown onto that enemy support, and Team Liquid will find themselves a couple of kills. And there goes Jensen. There goes Optic. See you later, as Team Liquid has found so many kills for themselves. And Optic will be added to the list of names that could not withstand the Team Liquid Tide. And Liquid will finish week three undefeated. We've been waiting for Arrow for like three weeks. I feel like he's going to be the Messiah or something. You just stop losing it, right? You don't have the right to lose it. You can enjoy the game, you can be, everything was positive, and, and you kept your composure. You guys, listen to each other, call the focus. Everything that can make you in control. And you make three small wins, let's lose it. Keep your composure. You're not playing SKT in the game five of, of the World Final. You're playing Team Liquid in regular season. Just, just play the game the way it should be played. And if you focus about the outcome, you're going to, fu you're going to fuck it up. I think looking at this weekend's games, just looking between yesterday's game and today, there are a lot of improvements that we made across the board, right? We had a better game plan, we stuck to it. We had a better early game. Yesterday's early game, in my opinion, was okay. It was not fantastic. Today, we we had pressure in all three lanes. We were like supporting the jungler. We, we got so much vision control, and you guys executed on that vision control. And then, as Zab mentioned, the, the comms were important, where you guys reminded each other to listen and you guys started listening better, and you guys talked about things that were completely silent game one yesterday, right? So there were improvements. A few mistakes happened. I think people were very scared, of, once again, of the, the enemy team and very uncomfortable being ahead. And they started making really random things, things that we didn't plan. And against Liquid, you don't have the right, right? It's forbidden. You cannot improvise a play. It always been like this when you could win against a strong team and you lose, it's more bitter, like it's not sweet, like, it's bitter, right? Uh, we just came off a of 0-2 week, definitely I played pretty bad both games I'd say, or didn't play as well as I should have, so feeling pretty down, but... On a Sunday evening I feel, uh, as every Sunday, I'm, I'm always tired, um, I felt bittersweet, uh, bitter 
because we didn't win obviously and zero two always hits very hard because you still worked very hard. I think that most of the people think that the teams that are losing are just jacking off somehow. But in the case we work super hard and eventually we lose because our team just work better. Something bad happened, a mistake happened, and then the team kind of lose it and then they start being extremely afraid. And I was really surprised because we have guys with a lot of experience, but everybody was so afraid of losing the first time. Yeah, I guess Golden Guardians. I felt, I don't know how this guy is feeling, but I felt a little bit of should not lose against this team. So it it makes me more, I don't know, maybe more play safe or like I shouldn't do anything or something. We had a comp that if we ever fell behind, it'd be really hard to win. So once I like died and just made that mistake, I uh, felt like the burden was on me or yeah, it just didn't feel good. The Liquid game, we came much more, I would say, uh, com with much more composure and more, I would say, chill, excitement. We were ready to play against Liquid. We had a very good strategy. Going how the game played, I, in-game, I thought we had actually had a good chance of beating them, but it just slipped out of our hands, I guess. I mean, the dive mid definitely uh, wasn't good. Um, I think we had chances to win in that game, let's just say that way. Definitely we had, the, f the fate of the game was in our hands and then we threw it. We just have to improve, or I have to improve myself and then just get better as the season goes on. With all the um, external factors that we had to, and we have to deal with, I felt like the level of the team is not as bad as what people would see because I think that people are very skewed by the outcome. And yes, there is a lot of things to fix, but I see the future, uh, right if we invest the time and if people are eager to work so i could see there's a possible we could be a strong and better team i need to be stronger in this team